Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 16 through 22, where it is written, Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to them, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. Also, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I've kept all of these. What do I still lack? And Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give the money to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. The young man heard this word. He went away grieving, for he had, for he had many possessions. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Honest question. Everyone in the world, no matter their background, asks, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Go to heaven, so to speak. We all, everyone asks that at some point. And someone asks that to Jesus Christ. He answers somewhat cryptically. Why do you ask me about good? There's only one who is good. Jesus here is not denying his divinity, of course, but he's saying in a roundabout way in the culture. God's the source of all goodness. He's the source of life. There's no eternal life outside of God. So the real question is not how can I be an immortal, but rather how can I be right with God? So Jesus uh, is you know, a Socratic method. He answered question with the question. Well, keep the commandments. Which ones? The Ten Commandments, don't murder, adultery, honor your parents, don't steal, that kind of thing. Oh, no problem, I got all that. No problem, I have got, I mean, you sure you got it? Oh, I've got it. Okay. There's one more thing. Yeah. So everything you've got, give it to the poor, then you're going to be perfect. Then you can earn eternal life. He's a rich guy. He couldn't do it. Do you want to be perfect? Can you earn this? Absolutely. Tell me how. I can't do that. That's precisely the point. We be good people in the human, by a human standard. A human can say, that person, I'm sure they'll be in heaven. A human can say that. But your neighbor or you are not the one on the judge's seat. That's Jesus Christ. Now, he's fully human, of course. He's also fully God. And he's the one that makes the choice. And here's something very beautiful here. This guy comes with the best of intentions, but is completely delusional. And Jesus shows some tough love and bursts this guy's bubble. And he goes away crushed. Well, he's a rich man, meaning he's abreast of the news. Either uh, he's in, he at least from Jerusalem, or he's wealthy enough to come to Jerusalem on a regular basis on pilgrimage. This is being near the end of our Lord's life. So here, this guy's bubble is burst, and he's despondent. In a matter of weeks, in a matter of months, Jesus Christ will die and rise. Pentecost will happen, and the gospel will spread like wildfire. A wealthy man, abreast of the news, is going to hear the gospel. There's almost no doubt in my mind this guy is clearly Jewish, approaching a rabbi, calling him teacher or rabbi with wealth. There's no way this guy didn't hear the gospel in his lifetime. Here's the point. If this guy's bubble had not been burst, he thought he could earn his way to heaven, he would ignore the gospel, saying, that Jesus stuff is fine, I can earn things on my own. But now that he's crushed, now that he's despondent, now he's ready to hear the gospel. It's not about a matter of winning spiritual calculus and having a positive balance. It's a matter of following Christ. And in Christ, this guy would be capable of doing things he never otherwise would have been able to do. He, had parted with, he could have very well at that point parted with his possessions and followed the Lord and thus gone on to be saved. 
We'll never know, because he's never named. But there's no way this rich young man in his lifetime never heard the gospel. The chances of that happening are zero. Rich guy, Jewish, this part of the world, he had to have heard it. And who knows, by the grace of God, maybe he repented, turned to Jesus, and found the eternal life he was looking for. We can only pray. The lesson for us is sometimes when God bursts your bubble, well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It can also be tough love and God setting you up for something good. Let us close with prayer. Lord, please calm our egos and our minds. When bad, seemingly bad things happen, Lord, I know you work all things for the good of those who love you. So, Lord, please do that in things in our lives. Amen.